gaming that have been illegal in my country for centuries. Now, if they can have that, meaning Atlantis, the hotel god in my country, you all took everything from me. I never forget, forgot even how I was physically injured on that property, asked for arms and was denied. Atlantis and major corporations like them, Mr. Ed Fields, this is Bahamian history. It's not racism. It is setting the record straight. Bring a Bahamian, bring anyone, and bring their records. And nothing is more solid and more firm as these. And there is one woman at least on this planet who will bear witness to that before she die. And with the greatest and the awesome degree of respect to this great and awesome woman, it was God who blessed her. And I agree. Her house was once considered in the spiritual realm defenders of the faith. And it was designed for God Yahweh at the end of the day to get the glory. Now, the chain of honor of the Sudan, 1964. The chain of honor of the Sudan, 1964. All belong, all of the wealth in that country, the Sudan, belongs to the Sudanese people. The Order of Golden Lion of House of Nassau. All the natural resources in the Commonwealth of the Bahamas belong to the Bahamian people. This is the order of this young man. And I want just one person in the Bahamas to second this. Guess what? I got more than one. And what I have, no man can take away. Historical facts, it's called history in the making, right before the former Prime Minister, Mr. Hubert Alexander Ingram, eyes. This is Loftus Roca, former cabinet minister in the right honorable, father of our nation, political father of our nation, political father of our nation, who followed the spirit of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. He had all of them criteria, and thus, Wealth and riches was where he went. He carried wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. That's he carried God with him. Now, but I have a fault against our father of our nation. Yahweh, Yahweh's name was forbidden from the second and third B.C., along with many other Bahamian, all Bahamian black history that takes us all the way back to the dawn of time. I say to Mr. Hubert Alexander Ingram and to the Right Honorable Perry Glaston Christie, what you men have done and what we have to do as Bahamian black men to survive in our country 
what you have given over. Freely, you have given the sovereignty of this nation back to these people. And Father Yahweh has called me to deliver this people out of your hands. So I speak. The seal of Solomon and Sheba. The wealth of Solomon and the wealth of Sheba belong to this young man. I am a Bahamian. I am a Bahamian sovereign. There is no name greater than the name Yahweh. And I came on a national and international level in the name that have been forbidden for centuries. From the more than centuries. This, this is the seed of the great God. Amen. Yes, it survived the dawn of time. Bahamas and world, you're looking at the offspring and the existing seed. The personification of everything that represents black biblical history. We survived it. You survived it. I survived it. The natural resources of your country belong to us to share. Us to share. Freely, Yahweh came and gave. Freely, we give thanks to Yahweh. Not by force. It is free. Yahweh's light shines bright for free. Let Yahweh name now come forward. This is the resurrection of the Bahamas' recovery, recovering all of our spiritual body. I challenge any educator in Bahamian history that has to go in a classroom to smile. I challenge you to recognize now what was hid from me <laughs> and why it was hid from me was hid from you. We are kings. We are royal priesthood. In scripture, Father says, Father Yahweh says, have I not called you gods? That was before and during, or at least during, the reign of the dawn of time. When time and eternity reign. Time and eternity have now come full circle. Yes. Full circle. This is not a racist conversation today. It is a conversation of reality checked. Original hard copy absolutely unscripted absolutely dwell in the 242 and so I said good morning I say good morning to everyone around the world I say good afternoon then to some around the world and then I say good night to others the Bahamian government have hid from myself thus Hiding from my family, my parents, thus from their parents, thus from their parents. Now, the Bahamas government started technically in 1973. However, 1973 is hereditary. Everything in life is relative. As sure as she reigns. Because of hereditary and esoteric reasons for some. Now Yahweh have called this young man to reign long before she's died, before she died, 
and may the Queen of London, England live forever. Watch your language! So may God Yahweh my little nephews, they radical. You know, it's the food. You, 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 you sell us a bunch of bad food, a bunch of bad drinks. Even when we were betrayed by our leaders, all of this is a part of the betrayal. We go back to farming if I have to. Yes, Yahweh would allow me to obliterate some things. I have obliterated Pride in my country and the world have heard it. Do you think I have retreated? Yahweh says. No, he have not retreated. I will answer on behalf of you. Yahweh never sleep and he, Yahweh lives up to all of his promises. Now, it is God, Yahweh, who sets me on this mountain of Zion. And if there is one politician, one name, because I can then, you know, show you all what racism is all about. But we will leave that for the haters. Let haters deal with racism today. But let the wisdom, knowledge, and the understanding of God, sacred word, be first in our life. And that's for me, the worst of all y'all. So however bad you are, you are, was, is, and probably for some of y'all, I always think, will always be, I'm the worst of the worst. Yet, God Yahweh, not your education, Mr. Kong, Madam, you are highly educated, but you must now listen to your God. Yes, he, yeah, he don't look that good in your life right now. Because they stop from him by using a form of egregious, brutal aggression. So much so, our parents gave up. You are now the offspring of those you ladies in the Bahamas, behaving, real behaving young ladies, who are making a whole lot of money and looking down on your, whether he's a brother, whether he's your, any man in your life. If you do that, you have failed Yahweh's spirit. It is God Yahweh who speaks. And he does it over the dawn of time. He, does, he don't wait. Just say 1969. Scotch, a line, representing, huh? He ain't Scotch, oh. 1969, he ain't Scotch, oh. That's emphasis. Two. Two line going across. I could just equally put two line, huh? Going up. Let God Yahweh reign and let the record reflect. I change this order. Today in this book. It belongs to me. 1970 was the year I born Mr. Christie and Mr. Ingram. You have made every major post in this country for the last 21 years. Yahweh serves you caution. Recognize this young man and cause the world to recognize also Black and white. July 10th, 2013. Would have I would have celebrated 14 years married. There are an American company, General Electric, by the way, is your name. And I name you today because I am the only young man on the face of God's planet who could name you in this country. You and your crooked, wicked practices in cahoots, involved in a global governmental conspiracy to defraud this young man out of this right and the Bahamian people out of their natural resources, acting 
in concern with the Bahamas government and the Bahamian people treasury reflects this fact the average Bahamian real true Bahamian from who you who the record will, will show either their parents or their grandparents lived on those family islands during the day the time I born 1970 these are the generations Miss Christie of your parents your grandparents this is them the Bahamian people today is still calling for a man in this book his name is Loftus Roker God bless Mr. Loftus his father was Elkin Roker from Pompey Bay Acklands these are the gods and goddesses of my life and of the life of the generation that made it possible for me to be here Do y'all understand what y'all did to me? Do y'all understand what Yahweh says? Read Revelation chapter 4. Read Revelation 13 and then read Revelation 22 because at the end of this day this is the esoteric view of the young man now you all took advantage of a nation and of a people and Yahweh has visited you all and this represents the system now I speak to. And if you all want me to go get another book. Well I just take it out of my head. And I'll speak to one name. To the, I'll speak to one name in that book. The Sovereign. Grand Commander. Of the Supreme Council. Then I speak. The seven out of eight representing the United Nations Security Council. The Security Council. This is a sovereign nation now, and I am now head of state. The natural resources of this country will cause every individual Bahamian, including myself, to enjoy the benefit the rightful, hereditary benefit every drop. I sent a message to you men because our prime minister and also to the kings of this earth, the pillars, the foundation, the preamble of the Bahamian constitution belong to the Bahamian people. They change it if they wish. However, there are amendments Constitutionally, that must be changed. But the sitting Prime Minister, the Right Honorable Perry Glaston Christie, and the former Prime Minister, the, the Hubert Alexander Ingram, those men must be investigated, and everyone else must be investigated who served during their time. As long as you served with, un, in the cabinet of any one of those men in the last 21 years, I am calling... For the United Nations Security Council to face a simple truth in respect to levitating of electricity and how electricity le le levitates. General Electric, the book, Men and Votes, I read. I have not, I have not finished it. I read enough to love the book. Do I need to say more? I'm not stupid. My mother is 68 years of age. This year, I have three children and not one of them should lose a hair on their head. One of my children, if my children, in fact, stay in the hand of their ex, their, my ex-wife, she cut me off. Because I admitted I was molested by a male on public radio. 
after asking her her permission. So y'all, do y'all think the spirit of Amos is broken or fearful? Or do y'all understand when God shows up, he shows up even if he have to choose 149 years later, Supreme, Sovereign Grand Commander of the Supreme Council, you're looking at every major order fulfilled. Now, the natural resources of this country have been plundered by foreign companies for years. And as this country is about to turn 40 years of age, I tell you all this. Civil, dis civil disobedience is now in order. You cannot tell the Bahamian people, this tape, this video does not exist. Joshua is 13. And, for, and the majority of the Bahamian people heard me represent Joshua, Joshua a, a semi-disabled young man, teenager now, just turned 13, April 10th. What happens, what, which just happens to be the month he turned, and the year he turned 13, this year, but the month representing one year since the free national movement government or the courts under that government reign would have given a divorce naysay to a young lady who walked out of my life because of what I have confessed now to the planet. I was never homosexual. But homosexual act practic took place in my life. And listen to me. There will be no same-sex marriage in this country. And on every planet, if you're married in a same-sex issue situation, then read the Holy Scriptures. Respect the black African way of life that dates back to the pyramids in Africa goes all the way back to everything black. The great God, amen. All right? Once you accept that what took place according to history, to the black race, was in some cases justified because if you analyze it, it's because of our faith in Yahweh and our lifestyle as black human, pe human being, of which one blood comes many people. This is the facts. Once you accept this, and this, we, this is what you call a divide, the dividing line, where you separate now good from evil, black and white now, black and white now, coming, coming together to say, we are now, we don't care about the past from this day forward in respect to the negative stuff. We want to erase them from the history books by doing the right thing. You, 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 you don't go there and tear up the book or throw it into the fire like some black people were, 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 were torn to pieces by dogs and then wood thrown on until die, until dead, wood thrown on them and then burned. Some of them would burn alive, hanged, drowned. These atrocities until I hear them ring out like the rain from heaven when it's pouring during a hurricane and until I see the blessing return to the black race now in respect to reparation like the sound of thunder I want them to cheer for the world system doing the right thing. Business as usual will never stop. I didn't come to change anything. I'm a businessman. Now, Mr. Bradley Roberts told me that. He taught me those words in that context. And I have a lot of things to trade. So the laws in the Bahamas as it relates to U.S. money legally staying in Amos J for justice, and for some of y'all, esoteric folks who so educated, it's judgment. If you choose not to give me and my black race reparation, 
I, when, they, when you're orchestrated as a system to hide my history from me, that was treason against my name, Amos Miller, the Miller part, representing my forefathers, the slave masters now. We can go back and talk these kind of things that must change. Every black person in this country, the Bahamas, small little nation, and Yahweh kept us small for a reason. Because only a small group of you who have specialized knowledge, who go and first become a specialist, uh, you know, and have knowledge about certain things, will understand. Yahweh comes first in my life. Now, his son, the Yeshua, in these parts, we call him our Jesus. I ain't changing anything other than recognizing the Hebrewness of our God as well. No longer Church of Rome, Mr. Vatican, Pope, the, the, the modern day Constantine. Will a nation be tricked ever again? Because I am the defender of Yahweh's faith. You, the royal family in, in London, England, Elizabeth II, reigning sovereign, Elizabeth II, by the grace of God, by the grace of God, Yahweh, of the United Kingdom, of Great Britain, and Northern Ireland. You see, that's where I come in. Now I have done, I have won a war on behalf of the black race. On behalf of the black Bahamian in this country, the black male first, an all woman, if you black living in this country, recognize that the seed any woman can have a baby for a black man in the Bahamas. Anyone, yeah, a man is just a man, and a woman is more than. Valuable in some aspect than a male. But listen to me. Who can carry on the ark of the covenant that Yahweh made with the great gods of the Hebrew people? Huh? Unless you're chosen by the Yeshua. So I come in the name of Christ Yeshua. Our almighty creator God. Yahweh, the great God. Uh, you see, I am a God. You are a God. You have black and white God. Or you can live like dogs, capital D or G. Now, I'm a small G-O-D, small little God, who recognize what this force in this universe. Just let's take the S-U-N, son. Psalms 84 verse 11. And all true scripture, I look here. My grandmother. The woman we talked about in this book. I just want one politician in the Bahamas. Just one. By the way, and my cousin, Anton. Good morning to you, bro. You got in the governor general right now. Representative, head of state, they said, for the Bahamas. No more. Head of state in this Bahamas is Amos Junior Miller. And these says so. And my talent, make it possible. Because what I can do and what I have done... The spirit did not come to your house, Anton, because you're willing to go along with just a flow. Have you studied your name before you were elevated to the rank of inspector police in my country? Well, let's talk about the police. You see? Because I could mention something about them too. Okay? C Citizen Air Force, Commander-in-Chief, RAF, Conwell, Honor, Honorable Commander R, Canadian Mounted Police, Master of the Merchant Navy and Fishing Fleet, Head of Civil Orders, uh, Head of Defense, Head of Civil Defense Corps, Head of National Hospitals. Listen, y'all want me to start talking and reading your book what some of these things mean to me? That When I hear certain words, that's what I go and I want to study. Huh? The royal family. See there? Peerage and Baronetage, 1976. Okay? 
Debrits, Debrits, or, or whatever, this, you know. Yeah, well, they didn't want me to be educated, by the way. So uh, please excuse me, world. Okay? Knight, Frank and Ru Rudley, Rutley, Rutley, Frank and Rutley, Debrits, Peerage, and Baronage. Baron Edge, Baron Edge, 1976. This is the book. And this is the facts in respect to the royal family and some orders that have been given over the years. Okay? And I'm saying every Latin writing will be Deciphered by me, royal heir. It's a beautiful history. The people voted for the, the free national movement government under the leadership of the right honorable, or the honorable in my view, not right, but right in the context of the word, okay? In respect to history, the right honorable Hubert Exon Ingram. And for the Progressive Liberal Party, for Mr. Ingram, for 15 years, he took an extra five days because it was in his right. So I'm saying to him, you see, you all hide all of this from me, and you all are large brothers. You all won't want me to start questioning you all as relates to, or teaching some questions, by the way. I don't want you all to think there's no, I'm a warrior. Defender of Yahweh's faith. Defender of Yahweh's faith means to defend these poor, defend the rights of these poor people, children living in this country. Even if they don't understand, it ain't their duty to understand. All they need to do is understand why they all did it. You all did it because they're living in sin. But you got to understand why these people did it. Because they did not want, because the God and the Spirit they follow does not want neither of us to perish in this life or on or after in this life he wants us to live like honorable men and women of the most high and then say no to wickedness and crookedness okay as a as an individual person and then as a nation and then it's much easier for a nation to want to choose the right things in this in this world, and to call on the on the proper name as a people, as a race. Every other race got their name that they reflect. Who is their God? No one have a right to come to the Bahamas and tell a black Hebrew Israelite, okay, coming down from the dawn of time, that he must call the name Adonai Elohim, El Shaddai. Beautiful names reflecting the name of Yahweh. But by these very same Jews, they, want, they forbid their own people from calling Yahweh because their own people were sinful. Well, Yahweh want his name to be called in this day and time by sinful people who will turn away from, from doing nonsense. All right? Yahweh, son Yeshua, hates bribery. The two prime ministers that led our country in the last 21 years, I lay a charge of treasonous, treasonous practices and policies. I lay a charge against them for corruption. Treason is a big word. They are my brothers. Yahweh did not let them even, with all their power and might, cast me and dash me all the way down to the ground. So I won't dash them all the way to the ground and charge them for treason. I will relent. But I'll tell you all this. Treason, I won't call, say you all was treasonous against the people. Let the people decide that. Again, okay, individually let them decide that. That's a decision by them. I had done char charge up, brought y'all guilty for corruption. That one over. Now, when the people ready to take up this challenge and do the right thing in the next five years, because you'll be more informed, recognize the only thing that really matters in your life is family. Every island during these years 
had the majority of the people would hear now living on them. Where no matter where you're from. These two men have did everything in their power to got back at the people who did them wrong. And to do that, they had to agree to, to march down the people in respect to this book. Or at least primarily and specifically one house. And the house was called Willis Miller House. I don't want y'all to think I sleep or I slumbers in this world. For y'all to get away with the treachery, y'all, the Right Honorable sitting Prime Minister Perry Glaston Christie and the former Right Honorable Prime Minister of our Commonwealth, Hubert Alexander Ingram, for you two men to get away with the treasonous policies, aggressive policies, treasonous, egregious policies that y'all have did and done to the Bahamian people since the Bahamian people entrusted and, and, reproved, and uh, entr uh, entrusted their trust in y'all. Reproved their trust in y'all. Y'all have destroyed our country. You have done everything in your power to leave us as a people. There is no more. No more nonsense. I'm going to tolerate in this country. Now, for the nonsense that was done to the Bahamian people in general, that will cause those islands light up for real this time. Because now Bahamian people will be able to go back home. Okay, and make and clean up so we could at least have a national and international cleanup of Nassau. For this to happen, the people resources need to be left alone. It is and by the way, Bahamas and Bahamians, you better thank God, Yahweh. He's awesome enough to make a natural, a natural thing so it, it recurs. So what have been taken, we count that as justification because of how we lived towards each other in this country. So if we lived like this towards each other, what do you expect for them to do to you? When they notice how you living with one another, don't care. Now where is the rest of the books for the other islands? Go get them and bring them. And let's study them as a nation. And maybe we will can affect some real change on this planet. This is the word. Huh? Of this young man and he's king. And Yahweh speaks. No man follows after. Is this a game for y'all? Because it's not a game for me. The game was played by me. And I was good and not crazy for the PLP. But when I, speaking against the F&M, hmm, I was good. And when I spoke the truth after your win, leading all the way up before your win, because Yahweh blesses me, not, not y'all, that's when y'all promoted this crazy talk. Why? Because the young lady, y'all want to talk about that one? Y'all better go do y'all homework and understand what she did to me. But we know why she did it because y'all set it up. That I used to live in this house 14 years ago. It's amazing 14 years later. huh? One of the young men she cheating with when you add the, the ages of the two children comes up to 14. Well, listen to me. 14 for me is next year. Next year will be a bullish year because this year I have declared royal status and none of y'all could challenge it. How you like that? And the royal on majesty, the queen, is still alive to hear it. Now, 1948 was a serious year in respect to international Affairs. Period. Okay. And in commemoration of that year, a structure, a, a, a structure was erected. The St. Luke Native Baptist Church, Pinefield, Acklands, to memorialize. The significance of the Universal Declaration 
of human rights. From then to now, December to be exact, of 1948, it was done to now makes it 55 years. Five plus five to me equals 10. Now 10 in the scripture, 10% was paid to Melchizedek by Abram after the slaughter of the African kings. And wherever else? Everything was taken out of the house of Yahweh. Y'all are lucky. After all of the natural resources that were taken out of this country. Before we even could talk about independence. It is egregious. You're lucky in this modern day and time. I'm not asking for two trillion dollars. History is history. I don't, I, I'd make it any kind of way. I create history because my father is the almighty creator. Everything he is, I am. He's the capital and I'm the small letters. If he say he's God Yahweh, then I'm God, small God, Amos. And then maybe y'all can go and do the same too. You're not going to take my food, give it to dogs, and then turn around and tell me, call your brother a dog? You know what it is to have a lot of dogs around you who hungry? <laughs> well, I see plenty of brothers around here calling ourselves dogs and hungry. That's what I see with my physical eyes and hear with my physical ears. But now, when I see with my spiritual sight, and which comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God, then I see. A bunch of little gods who, do, one, don't know who they are. Thus, the, 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 the bad treatment. Yet, they know who they are so good when it comes to the street and doing the things that are contrary. The things that are contrary were taught to us because of what was taken from us. Give a black man back every drop of his natural resources and listen to me. There is no man on the planet will be as a decent, as good, and for some strange reason, as long as God, Yahweh will live. Yahweh will have good and evil. So, bottom line, you don't take my food and give it to dogs. The natural resources of this country belong to men, not dogs. Now, the royal family of London, England, there's a prison in this country. Alright? I was there four times. All was for three of the times. Which was her. What does what did Herb did to this planet so much so that alcohol did not do? Pound for pound, you put all against the herb. You put piratization, bribery, adultery, fornication, lying, cheating, and stealing. Put all of them up against the young man who loves God's spirit. God in the context of how we were taught. Now let's go back to the name of our Lord Jesus. Yeah, I don't care what history book recorded. I don't care to be. Greek or whatever. What it means to the Greeks is what it means to the Greeks. What the name Jesus meant to Amos is what matters. As far as I'm concerned, it is a Greek equivalent to the equivalent to the English equivalent, which is Joshua, to the Hebrew equivalent, which is the Yeshua. Period. 
Now you all have a nice day. I'll be back. You're lucky, world system, behemoth government. I'm only asking for $200 billion for this country. $100 billion is for the people to show. It represents 10% of $1 trillion. That's your economy. It's a trillion dollar economy. $100 billion belong to me. Representing reparation for these people. And I can administer that money. And the proper people will administer the other money. People like Bishop Ellis. Well, we have to talk. People like our Brother Miles Monroe. We'll have to talk. But no crooked people is going to run that kind of money. How could Mr. Christie be? Listen, y'all don't want me to talk about the old constitution and who's supposed to hold post and what is constitution and what ain't. Listen, I decide from this day forward what happened in my life and in the life of this country in respect to every other Bahamian. They decide. When I say I decide, I speak and I told y'all on behalf of the Bahamian people. Now, some... Go on, and some mean know what they're supposed to be saying. So I'm saying it on their behalf. And those who understand, no, we are what? Headwind. If you're a sailor man, that's what we're using. Headwind. This is the resurrection of the spiritual body. Stop lying. Stop cheating. You like a woman, you ask properly. If you believe you were betrayed, you ask properly, and if it work out, you do the next best thing and keep moving. Multiply and, and, and multiply and, 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 and uh, replenish this earth. Yahweh said, pardon me, pardon me. Okay. Multiply. Now y'all... Took me out of every school. Every school. I listen to these talk shows. I only call once in a while. But when they hear what, what is coming, they, they cut off. And that's because of the special interest. Will y'all affect y'all people and I will affect mine. Because these people have affected me. So to the royal family, to the Her Majesty the Queen, I, read, I visited your prison. And I have said on National Airwaves, if the condition of that person is reflective to you, anything dealing with the royal family, I don't want nothing to do with it. And I'm telling you, I also said on the record, no one bothered with the Bahamian history leading, dealing with the queen. Move a statue, I said, leave it. Build a bigger one. Remember that, people? I've been on the radio. Almost as long as Perry Glass and Christie and Hubert Ingram have led our country. Okay? Well, so, how does the money get in my account? Good. We talk about that one later. All you have to, all y'all need to know is one, for a nation, this is how the money is coming. You're going to investigate Hubert Ingram and Perry Christie, Bahamas. Don't do it, you lose it. I asking y'all to believe me. Y'all believe me when I was talking for one side over the other. Now you can believe me now too. I ain't your friend. I'm your brother. They took advantage of me. And they took advantage of you. And your natural resources and my natural resources is in the hands of some foreigner. And the men responsible for writing on a piece of the white paper is sitting in office. And I'm saying I'm here. On your behalf, those of you who don't understand what I'm saying, they understand. That's all y'all need to understand. I'm here for all. Not no 12, no 25. 100% of that oil belongs to the Bahamian people. 100. And listen. What needs to stop? 
is what's taking place on the New York Stock Exchange. You all got billions of dollars transacting on the New York Stock Exchange while this country people is starving, including myself. And it's not because we're not talented, but because what the simple documents, simple technical technology is now perfect for government to put certain things on the internet for their people uh, and allow their people to put their information in the professional database connected with the world. Why is the world system egregiously hating on the Bahamas? You want to buy something? It's very difficult to get it. Oh, this is... Listen, man. The Bahamas have helped America from the, before the, from the days of the pirates. Okay? So, what belonged to us belonged to us. What belonged to America, ain't nobody can touch it. They got a nuclear bomb to prove it. So any form of corruption I see and hear in this country is a form of aggression against me and the Bahamian people. And as far as I can say, designed to take from us, not give to us. Not take, not, not, it don't, it don't, it don't, it don't give to us. It makes us slaves to others. And one, or, one man decide who can, no. No, see, the Bahamian people will want investigate you, Mr. Christie. Right Honorable Prime Minister Perry Glaston Christie, pardon me, <clears throat> with the greatest respect. The Bahamian people will investigate you at the end of all of this. Y'all try to offer me $3 million? No one could offer me anything to take no bribe. Bahamas, what I didn't know, had I taken the bribe or you know and to take the bribe all I had to do is don't speak some things what I spoke after I helped to lead them all the way to the finishing line and when I get a crossover with them my spirit was told by the spirit of Yahweh stop and now defend continually like you are defending against the F and M. Now let them go and win. Because you don't want no one to say your blessings came from them. I want everyone to know your blessings came from me. So let the progressive level party after you would have done everything to help them. I want also, by the way, all of you Bahamian who have enjoyed the proceeds of the money, all the money that these men would have Pay it out. Let me tell y'all something. If they did all of that for all of y'all, and Amos Miller Mout is still white, I'm telling y'all one reason why they did it is called because of this man, number one in the book, Mr. President. All right. Now this is why this country one day will see a new president. President. And by the way. I am a son, a royal heir. I am not a president. I am not a politician, period. <clears throat> Excuse me. So no one look this way. You can't vote for me to be no... I am sovereign head of state. You don't vote for me. I'm above the law. I stay out of trouble. And I teach people how to stay out of trouble. I hear from Yahweh. And I do what Yahweh tell me to. And I disseminate it to the people. Now, you can't tell me no same-sex marriage is right in other countries. Specifically in America. Specifically in Great Britain. Specifically in Spain. Specifically in the Vatican. And my black brothers, them lock up in some royal majesty, Queen Elizabeth II, prison in the Bahamas. While our natural resources in the hands of foreigners... I am telling y'all, then I'll see all of y'all as a bunch of crooks. And then, far as I can say, the Latin meaning of the Miller surname will come to play. So may Yahweh, who resurrected Amos' spiritual body, be glorified now, forever and ever. Great God Almighty. Amen.